Hey everyone, Mons Wanos here and welcome to another episode of Billionaire. Uh, I've been trying to do a few things in between episodes and one of those things was hook up another source of getting some um, getting some cash. But uh, kind of been a bit, little bit stuck uh, doing that but I think I may have finally come up with a solution. I was looking for a rubber tree. So I went looking around the world and honestly I couldn't find a rubber sapling or a rubber tree or anything in the world anywhere. Not even the uh, most of engineering ones. So it turns out that you can make them. So you can either make them with a blue slime ball for the uh, industrial car. Sorry, that was, that's what I meant to say before, not immersive engineering, industrial car. Or for the manufacturer reloaded, you can make a green slime ball and a sapling. Uh, problem is, slime balls are a little bit hard to get a hold of as well. So, my solution for that is I'm gonna try to kind of cheese it a little. Um, let's just head down here. I think I've got enough stuff at the moment. I probably don't. No, my life. I'm, I'm very good at starting something and then going. Oh, hang on, I don't have what I need. Uh, let's throw this here. I want a bit of rice. Let's make this rice dough. That is certainly not enough to do what I want to do. Um, so you can see that. Oh, it's a normal crafting table. Whoops. Rice dough is going to give us four. Oh, actually, it might be enough. Let's um. Do the smart thing here. Oops. There we go. So, rice dough. Excellent. I need another one. One more for good luck. So, what I need to do is get these rice slime balls, turn them in. A block and we should get a green slime block and then I should be able to put that in there and get green slime balls. There we go. <laughs> so, a bit of a, uh, a way around the trying to find uh, the green slime balls or green slimes or whatever. So I should be able to do this and get a rubber sapling. Which is fantastic. I could probably make another eight. Uh, but for the moment I'm just going to plop him down there and let him grow because I want, I want some rubber. Um, long and short of it. I want to do a, a few things from Mine Factory Reloaded. I need to capture a cow, uh, plus a few other bits and pieces along the way. Let's try and dump some of this stuff that I just picked up while I was harvesting. I don't need canola in here. All right, so uh, I hope you enjoyed that last episode with the setting up this power system down here. I haven't done much more to it. It still seems to be working, although I'm probably losing the occasional uh, lot of seeds as these burn through the oil. Um, I have changed the setting a little bit so that it now looks for seven buckets. I should probably make that actually six from just thinking about it. Yikes. No, not 66,000, just, just 6,000. Um, otherwise, I think we do waste too much. But it's working. Things are staying powered. Um, if I didn't make this thing enough uh, clear enough for you guys, please let me know and I'll, I'll try to explain what I, what I mean if there's bits you don't quite get. Um, but it, it was a bit of a, a fun situation just trying to get that working. Uh, set up a little bit of basic automation here for processing ores just through the crusher and powered furnace here. Uh, underneath here, we've just got some, just some normal uh, ducts, transfer pipes. Oh no, they, yeah, that's right. I ended up using transfer extra utilities transfer pipes uh, with a, just a, a transfer node under there. Yeah, there we go, transfer nodes. Um, just something basic, no fuss. And dirt. There we go. So it just exports into this chest. And you can see you've got a lot of stuff in here. Some more food. Um, so I processed a lot of my ore. I've got a lot of boron and or boron, uh, lithium, magnesium. Just I threw all the ores that I've mined into that chest. Wonder. Silver. I don't want to overfill the chest, but. Alright, so 
in this episode, I thought, seeing as we did kind of strayed away from things last episode, I kind of like to start a little bit of Batania. Um, I don't have great armor. I'm thinking maybe some mana armor, or mana steel, or, or something along those lines may be a good thing to get into. Um, and yeah, I just figured we'd, we'd do a little bit in... I think I put some cobble over here. I really need to take the bed with me. Let's do that, because I've got a little area I started to set up over here. Let's take the bed. We've got the one inside the house if we need it. And let's head out into the field. A little bit away from the base. Downside to this area out here is I'm not in the chunk loaded and protected area. So let's just quickly fix that. Explosions disabled. I don't, I don't, I don't need to chunk load it. I just want it to be... Um, a little protected from creepers. So I guess first things first, the book wants us to make oops, a petal apothecary, so we're going to need some of that. And I'll just set up a basic crafting station, a bit of a pool of water, um, and harvested up some seeds here. Just used a bucket, a bucket of water trick to get rid of all the grass. Uh, could have vein mined it, I guess. Um, but just something, just basic. New spawn point. Not night time yet. Uh, so I'm going to need some slabs. Yep. I also um, I made a, a flower bag. Which you'll see in here. Flower pouch. Um, petal. I want to make one of... Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I want to make one of these. Uh, made the flower pouch up and just went around and, and did a bit of hunting for flowers. Let's plop you there. Hopefully that... Yes, it did. It'll give us the Lexica Botanica. Um, you know what? You can... Actually, I'll eat that. That'll get it out of my way. Alright. So, again, I came over here with just too much junk in my inventory. But that's fine. So, in here, I did... I don't know if I got all the flowers, actually. I was still missing some dark blue and black. I have one black in there. So if I throw that on the ground, should go into the bag. No. Can I put you? There we go. Um, yeah, so I got most of the stuff except for dark blue, which is interesting. So I will go hunting in between episodes a bit more as well. But let's look at our quest chain here. It wants us to make. Some pure daisies. Pretty standard sort of start to the uh, the Batan Batania quest line. Uh, let's see. Oh, I know. I know. I'm sorry. There's junk. You can have your cobble back. That'll do for the moment. So let's grab a couple of white flowers. Turn them into petals. And I'm going to need some seeds. No, not not the black ones. Some seeds. I need this in here. Apparently, I needed a light source on the ground below behind it. And there is a pure daisy. How many did I need? Probably two. No, just one. Two is a better a better number, so we're going to place that there. It's probably going to want us... Oh no, it's going to give us three more. Look at that. So, one there. One there. Yeah, that'll do. Um, awesome. They want some uh, living rock and living wood, so we need to get actual stone, not, uh, not cobble. Probably going to need to go and smelt some stone up. That's fine. Uh, the wood's easy. Obviously, we've got the farm here that we can pull that from. Did you grow? Uh, so, I grab a... Really? Oh, I was going to say, you gave me two wood. Um, let's dump some of this stuff. I don't know if I've got any stone in here. It's unfortunate. 
<coughs> Pardon me. Sorry about that. That kind of snuck up on me. Hopefully I didn't blow people's eardrum, eardrums out. Uh, let's just quickly check in here. It'd be nice if I could use like andesite and that sort of stuff because I'm not a fan. Um, but we could, you know, use that to make the bits and pieces with. So how many did it want us to have in the book? Look in the book, not in my inventory. Eight. Eight of each. And so we'll just wait for this to get to eight. Now, awesome. We'll head on over. Um, doesn't matter which one we use. One will be just as good as another. We'll surround our flower. Like so. Awesome. Oh, we're gonna get a we're gonna get a diamond builder's one. That'll be nice. After that's gonna want us to make uh, our wand, so we're gonna need. I'll just use orange petals for that. That'll be fine. Come on. I don't know if these ones. I think these just give us black dye. They don't give us the. Yeah, just give us black dye. They don't give us the mana boost. That's all right. This should take a minute, so let's go and... I'm going to leave that there for when we get to Ars Magicka, actually. Because that would be a good place to do the, uh, the little ritual you need to do to get the Ars Magicka book. All right, looks like our stone is done. I'll vein mine that up. The wood's done. We can vein mine that up. Awesome. Cool West reward claimed. Getting a diamond wand. And it wants us to make a wand of the forest. It should just be three of them. Yes, excellent. Wand of the forest. It's been a while since I've played with Batania, actually. Um, so I'm glad I remember mostly what I'm doing. Nice little wand. Excellent. Going to give us 200 cash for that. Uh, time to start making mana. Mana is produced by different flowers, with the most basic one being the Endo Flame. That little bug that was just flying around up in the up in the sky up there, I actually thought it was a a bug on my screen. <laughs> it's always the way. Bright lights attract things. Uh, so four Endo Flames. Uh, so Endo Flames. You can see is two brown, one red, and one light grey. So we're going to need four brown flowers, two reds, and two light greys. I think. I think that's how it works. I've got one brown. I've got the reds. And I've got the light greys. Okay. So we are going to need to go and do a little bit of a hunt. So... I might quickly just do that um, off camera because otherwise, unless I find some brown brown flowers just over the hill here somewhere, now, this area seems to be more pink. It seems like the flowers tend to spawn in sort of groups. So you'll go to a particular area and it'll have maybe one color of flower. Um, problem with the area that I have chosen to live in is that there's a lot of this um, Ars Magica forest around it and even though the flowers do spawn in there so there's a white one that zombie's on fire over there it looks like a UFO <laughs> I catch it out of the corner of my eye it's this UFO flying above my uh, my base um, hey buddy I know you just spent all that energy and time and stuff trying to get to me and then I just hit you and not really impressed with you. Go away. Uh, so let's just have a bit of a look. I think, yeah, I'll put a cut in. Otherwise, you guys are just going to see me trying to tra traipse around. Pick it up. Traipse around looking for this, uh, looking for these flowers. 
So once I get enough, I'll be right back. All right, well, I'm back after a bit of uh, fun times there. So I um, cut the video to find the flowers and I ended up just pausing and, and going to grab a drink because I've still got a bit of a, a, a cold, which you can probably tell from my voice. Um, and I come back, it's night time, okay, sleep, stuck in the bed. And even though this pack has the, um, the mod that kicks you out of bed, uh, for some reason it doesn't work. <laughs> so I've had to crash the game out, hard crash the game, and reload in. So I did find some brown flowers, and I found them just out here. It was in this snowy area here. Um, so that's good. So we needed, what, four of them, didn't we? Yep. All right, so let's head on back over to our Batania area. And we will get some of these flowers going. So I need those other couple of flowers and the four seeds. Let's convert these to petals. Excellent. These as well. So we'll put them here. And these can go there. And I'm going to need a bucket. So let's get rid of two of those buckets. Otherwise, it's just going to keep dropping into the same spot. So one, one. Nice. And I think, I think I can, can I shift? Guess not. There is a way of adding everything in again uh, to do it automatically, but I forget off the top of my head what that is. It's fine, we'll just make them manually. There's our four. Let's get our book back out. I don't want it there, I want it there, please. We need to reopen the book. Magic tier one, open. Four endo flames. We're going to get another four as a bonus. Uh, next thing it wants us to do is make a mana spreader. So the mana spreader is probably going to require gold from memory, a gold ingot, and then some flowers. So let's uh, run back over here. Do, do, do. Um, get out and you. And you. And you know what? Probably want two of these. Because I'm going to want one into the pool and then one out of the pool, I imagine. I'm going to need some more living wood too. So we better get that underway. I'm going to pretty much fill this whole thing up. Maybe we can automate living wood. There is a way of, um, I've, I've done in the past. Um, using places and breakers etc you could automate it using refined storage and applied logistics and that sort of stuff I've got to remember what of those is in this pack um, there's plenty of ways of automating it but generally it, it needs to do this for a for a minute uh, this is 110.2 so I don't know it's been a while since I played 110.2 I don't know if the endo flames will despawn. I don't think they do in this version. Um, which would be cool. Mana generation. Endo flame. Da, 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 da. Stuff can be dropped from an open crate, etc. Yeah, maybe they don't despawn in this in this version. Uh, I know newer versions of Minecraft they do despawn now, um, so it's it's classed as a um, it's classed as a passive generation, even though it, you have to feed it. Um, I think I think the yeah. Anyway, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure last I checked that there's definitely packs that make endo flames despawn because they want you to use the the better stuff 
So, enough gabbing on from me. Let's grab a flower out. And orange is just as good as anything else. So, two of them. Just that? Yep, just this stuff. There's two mana spreaders. We only needed one. We got a bonus one. I know I will need a third one later anyway. So next thing it wants us to do is generate mana, obviously, and then make some stuff. So let's do that. We're going to need a mana pool. Doesn't tell us to make a mana pool, but let's get one. So uh, in the interest of this, we'll put the mana pool here. We will have a spreader pointing towards it. And then we can place these guys down. Yeah. Awesome. They should all be connected to that. That's probably too many for that one mana spreader too. Um, so function mode, binding mode you to there very good uh, now I'm gonna need stuff that'll burn so we've got eight here let's just chuck eight of them out it's not it's not quite right it'll make some but it's not gonna be as as good as something else I wonder if we can use this stuff um, I will grab some coal as well. But we may be able to burn these things. That'll be a nice little way of making some mana. Let's test that. Yep, cool. Okay, so it wants us to make... Uh, let's get rid of that. It wants us to make uh, mana steel ingot, which is iron, mana pearl, and a mana diamond. So let's go and grab one of each of them. I think I've got an ender pearl. Yep, there's a couple. Uh, iron, please. I've got. Mm, kind of. I'm going to end up wanting like 24 of them. Because I'll make a full of armor. Uh, maybe not the boots. Boots is something that potentially I won't change. Eh, can make two. So this is probably generating mana over here at the moment. There's an egg. Really? Where is that chicken? Have your egg back. <laughs> Got him as well. Oh boy. Um, how you going? Don't know how long this will last. Can I try the right button? There's an end pill. A uh, mana pill. What did I miss? Oh look, I've got diamonds. It's not enough for a, for a diamond yet. <coughs> oh, sorry about that again. Okay. A bit more in there. Come on, can you do one? I need one of each. Was one of each. Yep, one of each. It's almost night time. There it goes. Pop. And It's night time. I want to sleep. Really? Come on. Uh, hopefully I don't get stuck in bed this time. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Yay! Uh, I believe it's possibly because I was stuck underneath the squeezer. 
So I've moved the bed in the base and I've moved the screws up. Uh, let's see. Hand this in. We're going to get a Man of Steel pickaxe. Um, and now it wants us to do another quest. Apologies for that. Another bit of a coughing uh, fit came over me. Um, yeah. We'll get there. We'll get there slowly. Uh, time to make runes. These powerful constructs may use runic altar and can be used to make the power for players of blocks. It's going to give us a mana pearl as a reward. So, and judging by this, I need more stone. That should be cooked up over here. Uh, so, we'll be able to make, as I said, at least a partial set of, of armor. There's the stone. I don't know what I was looking for. Uh, I do like the Enderaya boots that I've got, the dark boots. Um, they are very handy. They definitely um, are quite useful. Let's just do all this. Same as before. Oops. Silly wand in the second hand, but eh, it does come in handy. And put the rest of you in there. You can go in there. Uh, so I do need a couple more of them before I can make what I want to make. Let's get at least... Yeah, see, there's not enough. That'll despawn before it uh, gets made. We've got five. We could make a helmet. I wonder if it's better than what I've got. I think it's as good as iron. So two armor. Infused experience. Armor XP leveled. So one armor toughness plus three armor. So the the stuff I'm actually wearing, the the osmium helmet is better. Um, and I'm. Um, Maybe I should just go make a set of Osmium armor. Oops. Alright, so that's that. Awesome. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Here's our runic altar. Gonna want one of these. We'll place him there. Put the runic altar there. Uh, always best to have it I mean, you can transmit l large distances, but I always find it's nice to have it right next door because it you know, speeds up the, the mana getting to where it needs to. Uh, and there's absolutely zero chance of loss. All right, Runic Alder, claim the rod. Couple of mana pearls. Uh, Terra Steel would be something great to get into. I'm going to need a, a ton, ton more uh, mana. And for that, I'll probably want to set something up i mean potentially this can be set to sheer leaves right i think that's a thing no maybe i'm thinking of what am i thinking of i might be thinking of the mine factory reloaded so what we could do is we could set up, and it's been so many years since I've done this. It's been a, probably a year and a bit. Uh, I did make a little uh, Munch Dew tutorial video way back when. So we could set up a little basic um, harvester and planter setup. And use the harvester to harvest leaves and then use the munch dew to eat those leaves. You just put use a block placer and because um, the munch dews do have a timeout. So we may be able to set up a secondary system and I'll, I'll do that off camera because I know we're getting near the end of the episode. I will set up a secondary system using a, a planter and harvesting leaves and then we will have it use the uh, the munch dew which if you look here um, it 
it will need some runes, so we'll have to craft up some runes. So need some mana diamonds, rune of fire, rune of winter, fire. So there's a lot of things I'm going to need to to get together, and I probably want <coughs> I don't know maybe maybe four munch dews, maybe maybe I might even be able to get away with just two. Uh, actually, that may be better set here. And we can set up a little basic farm here. We can run it on wireless power of some description. Um, but yeah, that's something that we'll definitely look at in a following episode. Let's eat some of this. Nice. So I think with that, we will wrap up this episode here. My rubber tree has finally grown. Which is good, because I'm now going to cut it down. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, small saplings. Um, yep. Just want the saplings so I can plant them. All right, that's done. Episode over. Gonna get some more rubber because I will uh, show you what I want to do up here eventually once I've got all the materials I need. I've got a couple. Infinite water source, fluid tank. You may uh, have an idea of what I'm after. Uh, leave in the comments below if you do have some idea of what you think I'm going to do up here to create some more money. And then we can use that and spend it on things. Uh, buy. We can, I bought some blaze rods. Um, <coughs> uh, we can buy stuff. Power storage. Uh, spawners. Shulker. Look, end of bins. So there's lots of things here. Apparently this is a really good way of using this so instead of using these we may be able to make more power using an advanced generator but we'll get to that uh, later in the series uh, thank you all for watching please leave a comment below saying what you think this system will be and leave a like if you like the episode we'll see you next time thanks a lot bye now